Pyrex and Natara Tremor, but he's been playing a number of things and they're pretty much exclusively off meta teams. But you for a player like Souls Clue, that's fantastic. Because he really seems to thrive on the weird stuff. But whenever, what, so many players have been asking him, hey, why are you playing this? Why are you playing that? And it's always, because it's fun, bro. <laughs> it's fun. I like playing it. And I respect that. As we're seeing Sindel Cyrax before, Sindel Sector now. Pairing's close to our heart. I'm very happy with that, you know. But Sindel Sector is actually a very, very decent team. Being able to get the up missiles back much faster than any other character in the game with Sector, that's pretty efficient. However, the Sindel Lao on the side of Sonic Fox, a lot more traditional and a lot more cheap on paper. I mean, you get the low hat shenanigans, you get the overhead low, low overhead, the extra element of zoning. I mean, this is a Sonic Fox team for sure. You get to mix. And any touch can lead to it. That's the scary thing. And Sonic Fox, historically so good with these aggressive mix-up characters. This team kind of is exactly that. Oh, no, the up rocket misses completely. And Soul Slew forced to break. Now, Sonic Fox has played many a Sindel mirror match over in North America. So this is a matchup, even with the Sector, that no doubt Sonic Fox is completely and utterly prepared for. As the even down today, even down to like the, the instant air fireball as a counter poke as Soul Slew goes for the low. Oh, the catch! Max range confirms. And there's a setup. Oh, hey. Low overhead. I don't know you're going to have time to break. And that's it. Oh, that's it. That's the game for sure. All right. So instantly back to character select. We gave the Sindel Sector a try. But there was hesitation before locking that in. So we could go for a change now. I do wonder what the Sector pick specifically was done for there. It was his main team before learning Cyrax, basically. He, he has the most hours in the uh, Sector team. But now, ah, okay. We're going in with Natara, but it is not the Tremor that we've been seeing all weekend in practice. It's Serena now. Yeah, I haven't seen Soulsclue play this all weekend, but we know Soulsclue has definitely come into this tournament with some tricks up the sleeve. Could this be one of them? Oh, the catch may back, but no fall confirm. Went in for the up block and immediately scouted out by the empty float forward throw. For those that don't know, if you grab an up block, that throw does more damage. It hurts, especially if you're on Atara and you've got that lower health. All right, here Back we go. The wall. We're gonna Probably get... gonna see a setup here. Oh, absolutely, we've got full cameo. We oh, are going, going in. And that's the problem. Every ounce, you see that setup and go, well, maybe I'll try and jump and make it more awkward oh. or uncomfortable. She catches you in the air into float. She was already committing to that button. It's such an almost one size fits all scenario. And yeah, Sonic Fox, we are going to have full cameo once more. And you know that setup's going to come back. The breaker. Yeah, that's, that's why we're seeing the break. Normally, it's a bit strange to break later in the combo. But when you know the reset is coming, hard not to. But Sonic Fox finds the hit again immediately. And there's the setup anyway. Good block on the mix up this time. Oh, but just to commit to the overhead. And the overhead again. Sonic Fox goes in for the sweep. And then a low that time. That was so dirty. That was straight up rude, that was. But now, where do we go? Because the Natara didn't really have a chance to do much here, but it was more the fact that Sonic Fox was just all over Soul's Clue. Lands a hit, gets a knockdown, gets a weird setup. Have we gone back to character select or are we restarting match? I guess we'll find out. No, we are restarting match. We're going in again. Unfortunately though, because these, these both of these matches have been so one-sided for Sonic Fox, we really haven't had the chance to see Soul's Clue show anything off with either of these teams. We've seen the Natara Serena, but we haven't seen the, the, the vision behind it yet, you know? Lovely escape that one though, Soul's Clue. I like that choice. There's the jump in. All right, air footsies in my Mortal Kombat. Oh, this isn't Armageddon. All right. Another confirm. Basic knockdown. And that knockdown always means low hat. Now, the air mobility does mean that backwards oh, movement. Punish. Backwards movement's a pretty good option for Soul's Clue, especially in the air, because that will be somewhere Sindel can't just full combo you from. There's the low again. Yeah, Big, block. Block. Big damage from that grab. Serena's back, but you still comboed from it. Come on, Sonic Fox. Match point. Round two, fight. Makes you wonder what Souls Clue can do to bring this back. Because at the moment, it has been all Sonic Fox all the time. Oh, patience this time. Waits for the dive kick. Big punish. Not massive damage, but enough for sure. Oh, oh overhead, overhead low. low. Oh, which side's it going to go? Who cares? She combos regardless. God, that's cheap. 
But Sonic Fox so good at enforcing this kind of style. No armor break here though. Meter drain. Oh, not gonna matter. He uses the bar before it gets drained away. Sonic Fox with the down ones. It's a trilogy. All right, Soul's Clue. Mate, this is your now or never moment against Fox. What is it gonna be? Oh! Oh, oh the Dutch up grab! This is a bit oh, Get her off the screen! These screens cost money, you know. Oh, Sindel's not gonna care. It's royalty. What is the cost of a monitor to a queen?